My name is Max Strauss with ProInterviews.org, Facebook.com slash ProInterviews, Twitter.com slash ProInterviews. I'd like to welcome you to the interview with Vincent Ray. Ray attended Duke University and played throughout each year while he was there. He finished his collegiate career with 330 tackles and 28 tackles for a loss. He was nominated second team all ACC for his senior year. He entered the 2010 NFL Draft but went undrafted. He signed with the Cincinnati Bengals and was on their practice squad for most of the season. Here's the interview with Vincent, Ray, and I hope you enjoy the collages also. How do you connect with your fans? On Twitter? I mean, I really don't have many fans, I would say. But I, I, I like to say friends and acquaintances. I, I don't feel like I have that many fans in general. But it, I would, I'd say I connect through face. I connect them through Facebook and Twitter. Mm-hmm. All right. What was your high school football experience like at Bayside? Oh, it was. It was it was a very good experience. Um, I played on varsity my my uh, my sophomore, junior, and senior year, and we went to the playoffs every year. I uh, never won uh, a championship, but we went to the playoffs every year, and we were a winning team there. And then you did a post grad year at Mercersburg Academy, where I go. And uh, what was it like to go to Mercersburg? Uh, it was a different experience. But I still liked it um, because I met a lot of different people that I, I've never come into contact with before. Like people being from from other I mean, parts of the country, even parts of the world. But um, all in all, it was a good experience. Um, mainly because like we had a very good year in football and. What was it like to win a championship in your high school football career? Overall, it was like, it was something that I've never done before. So, one of the guys that was a starter on the team and and one of the uh, many playmakers, it was a surreal experience and something I'll never forget. What was the transition like uh, from Mercersburg Academy to Duke? so much in my transition because at Mercersburg, at least while I was there, we did a lot of, uh, your schedule was blocked off and they gave you a schedule and uh, you basically knew when you had free time, and, uh, which was very little time, and from eight to three. Uh, and it really helped me for, for, for do, uh, playing, uh, playing football and attending the school because kind of like two full-time jobs and how I like to see it. And um, it prepared me for that in terms of managing my time and getting things done and being very efficient. At Duke, did you have a closer relationship with like any particular like guy on the football team or just in general? Yeah, I did. I did. I had, I'd say my, the person I was closest to while at Duke, uh, Abraham Croma. We roomed together for three, three of my four years, and um, one of the things that uh, brought us together was the fact that we were both from New York, the New York City area. The only two players from the New York City area on the team. What was your relationship with uh, Vince Ohabasi? We had a good relationship. Um, we had to have a good relationship because. He was playing in front of me, and I wanted to make sure he would do his job so I could do my job. Uh, because he was a defensive lineman, I'm a linebacker playing right back, too. Uh, but, yeah, we had a good relationship. He's a nice, nice guy. And do you have a favorite memory from Duke? Uh, my senior year, the previous two weeks, we had beaten him. Uh, North Carolina State and Maryland. And we were playing University of Virginia. It was the fourth quarter. And um, uh, they were driving on us, and it was third down, and I dropped dropped back. And the quarterback, uh, I dropped back in coverage. The quarterback drops back. Then one of our uh, defensive linemen comes off the edge, sacks him, fumble, and then another 
another guy comes, picks it up, and runs for a touchdown. And I mean, I know I wasn't really involved in the play, but it's probably my best. It's probably the best feeling I had while I was at Duke. Just and we went on to win that that game, which made it three in a row in terms of wins in the ACC, which was a, a huge feat for us. Even though you were undrafted, what was your draft day experience like? Uh, it, had a, it was a, overall it was a good experience. Um, I was hoping to get drafted. I knew that, I, I mean, it would, it, would definitely, it would be a long shot, but uh, still I had a shot. But even though I didn't get drafted, I was happy because the Cincinnati Bengals have, uh, felt that, um, that, I, that, I mean, I, I was a pretty good player to to give me a free agent contract. Um, I, I was happy for that. And I knew a lot of guys wouldn't have that because there's not that many going around. So I was happy. And afterwards, I went to, uh, to Applebee's with my friends. What was your first training camp like? Oh, it was tough, man. It was, it was physical and hard running. And it was tough, but it was still fun because I was participating in the NFL. Even though it was tough, it was a great experience. What was your pre? What was the preseason like for you? Well, everyone played four games, but um, we were selected to play in the Hall of Fame game um, in Canton, Ohio. So we played a fifth game, um, and it was a good experience uh, in the preseason. I was able to get in during all five games. I played a little bit, and it was a it's to be out there against uh, other teams and just competing uh, because that's what that's what I love to do is compete and uh, play hard. And it, it was a fun time being out there. Take us through when you were activated onto the Bengals roster. So the first two weeks, like week 14, they put me on the 53-man roster. And I was on there for week 14 and week 15. And then week 16 to week 17, let me play. Mm-hmm. The first two weeks I didn't play. What was it like to get your first tackle in the NFL? Oh, man, it was like a, was like a breath of fresh air. Uh, just just to get, get him down. I, I, I was on punt, and we punted the ball, and I was the uh, personal protector. And I just ran and just ran to the ball and just made sure I got him on the ground. Looking back on your career, who's had the most impact on it? My father. Oh, he's always motivated me to be a better player. If you could describe yourself as any ice cream flavor, what would you be and why? Ice cream flavor? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, hey, um, uh, cookies and cream? Um, because I like cookies. I don't know what else to say. That's all I got. That's all I got. Your work ethic is something like you're known for. Why do you think that is? People have always told me that if I work hard, I, I could be a good player. But, and I'm, that's one. And two, is I've always known um, that I wasn't the most athletic guy. But um, hard work is something that it's like the, it's like an X factor. It's, I, that's how I see it. Working hard is something that not everyone is going to do. So it's something that can give you an edge. For someone who wants to play in the NFL, what's the best advice you can give them? Um, whatever level of football that they're in, um, participating in, whether it's high school or college or even Pop Warner, I tell them to listen to their coaches and try to do exactly what their coaches tell them to do or as close to because the coaches have their best interest in mind. Is there anything you else you want to tell fans from Duke days or fans in the NFL or Bengals fans that we re- really haven't discussed or talked about? Two things. I mean, pretty quiet dude, but two things that I, uh, two hobbies that I really love are going to the movies and going bowling. So it's just things that I really like to do that I can do every, every once a week. I can do those things. Hey, thank you so much, Vinny, for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks.
to um, we finally get this done. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the interview with Vincent Ray. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you leave your comments below as well. Please check out my website, ProInterviews.org, for other interviews. Like the Facebook page at Facebook.com slash ProInterviews. Follow me on Twitter at Twitter.com slash ProInterviews. Subscribe to me on YouTube at YouTube.com slash ProInterviews. Thanks again for listening. Stay tuned for more. And feel free to contact me.